From the wintertime mecca comes a preview of summer styles. Miami Beach shares the spotlight with Dame Fashion as the Miami Fashion Council shows the latest in beachwear. But for something really new and really appropriate, how about hand-painted bathing suits? Jimmy Rosen is the artist, a lucky artist, I might add. And when he gets through with somebody's darling daughter, she's really in the swim. I don't know what Jimmy uses for bait, but I do know he's got a job most males will envy. The suits are expensive. They're definitely stylish. And oh, yes, you can swim in them, too. Inside baseball, the Wild West is here in Yankee Stadium. Not baseball, today it's rodeo time. Ken Maynard and Tarzan salute the thrill-hungry fans. And Gregor Esco is billed as the man who hangs himself. Hold on, here he goes. He was neck and neck with death, but he made it. the brass here is something like a merry-go-round. You stays on longer if you get the brass ring. And if you miss, well, off you go. Bronco riding like June is busting out all over and over. Many other fancy ways you can fall off a horse. It's a toss-up which is the best way. As a finale, this one tops them all. A smashing double in the old ballpark. Princeton becomes the rendezvous of the great. Albert Einstein and a host of notables are present for the university's bicentennial. Prominent among the marchers is President Truman, who is accompanied on the occasion by Mrs. Truman and his daughter. Present also is the only living ex-president, Herbert Hoover. An expectant crowd eagerly waits for the high point of the day when the president steps forward to receive his honorary degree, the 13th conferred on him since he entered the White House. The president is in a serious mood despite his smile as he faces his large audience to deliver a solemn warning that universal training is a necessity under present world conditions. Another contribution which I regard as important at this time is support for a program of universal training. We must remember above all that these young men would be training in order not to win a war, but in order to prevent one. <laughs> 